Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Ambitions. Hope you're having a great day today. This video, I'm going to do some things that I said that uh, initially I said I really wasn't going to do. Um, or rather, I said I wasn't a big priority for me. And it's because I've become, I, I want to say, just inspired to create stores that are really, really well designed. And stores that are really well designed are going to cost a lot more money. And so um, being driven by having to spend more money, I obviously need to make more money. So this place, we have lots of aspirations for. It's just not done yet. Um, we're going to move this cabinet, I think, over there. Move this one over there like that. This one's going to go in like... I guess I probably could have done something different with this, but we'll put it there. There we go. Um, so to start here, we're going to start serving salad because there was a salad bar in the restaurant that I am modeling this after. And so we will place this right there. It, it gets instantly stocked because I have uh, salad on the uh, the rack here or the hand truck. Here we go. So instantly stocked. There we go. And then I need to move now the uh, soda machines. I'm going to move those over like that and then put this one over like that. So for now, we are now serving pizza and salad both here. We're going to need some corner pieces on these counters so that they look better. And then I'm also going to have this wrap around. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I want to make a, we're going to have like a wet bar in the corner back here. Okay. There's going to be this lounging area with couches and televisions all around the outside here, which is kind of cool, like a sports bar sort of approach. Same thing with over here televisions along the walls and everything we're really going to make this place happen okay this is going to be a party place um it's kind of modeled a little bit after like i said before a pizza place that i grew up near um it was a really fun place to hang out when i was when i was growing up and uh they had uh, sort of a land party like area internet cafe kind of thing going on uh there's there were six terminals and and granted i can't do it exact right because i don't have a big enough building to do it exact to dimensions to, to scale and i also don't have the ability to make interior walls so i'm just sort of spitballing and kind of improvising if you will you know working within the limitations that i have but we're gonna have six computer terminals possibly eight we'll see they're not gonna get used because nobody's gonna use them but we're gonna have them there anyway there's gonna be sort of a lounging couch hangout coffee table sort of spot over here and then there's gonna be a wet bar back over here and i'll probably do the couches and stuff maybe even over here near the windows too and so there's a lot of things I want to do with this building. Long story short, there's a lot of work left to do with this place to make it the way I want. It's a lot of extra expense that I don't need to spend in order to have the ratings be good enough to make lots of money here. But they're fixed costs that I'm uh, wanting to spend. And so in order to spend them, I have to make a lot more money. So it is 9 o'clock. It's too late to do a couple of things I need to do. So I'm just going to sleep in my apartment really quick. Hope that the money rolls in. And then um, once the sleeping is done and wakes up in the morning, we've got a couple of things I want to take care of. I need to make a phone call to Anderson to start recruiting uh, a few more employees. And uh, I'm going to execute a plan. I have kind of briefly touched on it in a previous video of what the, what the, you know, you do this, you win, right? Kind of plan uh, and we're gonna execute that a little bit uh, here too i don't think i need to play video games right now let's just go to bed uh we'll wake up at let's say 7 41 fine all right so we made 5600 in profit that's not our revenue that's our profit so we're up to fourteen thousand. and uh so we're gonna go ahead and grab a real quick bite to eat now we're good to go double check anything nope nothing's uh Nothing's out of stock. So, um, in the Hansa Mimic, we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to take a trip. Whoopsie. First, we're going to hit this truck. <laughs> then we're going to take a trip to down, down to Midtown or down near Midtown. Okay. Let's see if I can find this place without a map. Uh, test how well I know the city here. Uh, so, um, what I'm looking for is the big building that has the, the the elevated road around it so okay so here's the park once i find the park i should be good there's this so i want to take a technically i wanted to take it right on this road but that's the wrong way on a one-way kind of thing so i'm gonna go underneath the bridge here uh not here but the next oh my god this car is so slow i really should have been able to beat that but i i floored it and i couldn't beat that truck 
All right, so we're gonna take a real quick left here and park in front of this building with the orange uh, advertisement on the front of it here. And this is Van Tater. Van Tander, sorry, Van Tander. Van Tander is another bank. Now, I'm not gonna take the loan yet, but I just needed to make contact with them so that I could get them on my phone. So now I can call them for the loan when I need it. That's the only thing I needed to do. Now I can go, get out of here. And now we're gonna head the exact opposite direction. We're gonna go over by the water. And I could have perhaps done this first, but if I had gone there first, I would have had to wait for them to open. And I didn't feel like doing that. So now we're going to take a trip, kind of trapped on this road. I will cut you up to, I'll cut the video to get up there. All right, we're over by the, by the water now. And I'm just taking a quick right here and we're gonna make what I call a Michigan left. What we mostly call a Michigan, where we take a left to take a right. Where we take a right in order to take a left. Um, and I actually did it too soon anyway, because we're over by the marina now. So um, we're gonna come over here to this importer and I wanna kind of, I don't know, maybe preface this or just sort of make a side comment about this. I've been trying to play it a certain way, okay? I've been trying to do this in a way to where it shows the validity of various different business models and how you could create different types of businesses, right? I have not been incorporating a strategy of get as rich as possible as quick as possible, okay? Because it's not quite difficult to do, all right? It's not a very difficult game in that regards. A few strategic decisions with certain businesses in certain locations and you're just golden. For those of you who have been wanting to see Get Rich Quick, okay, we're transitioning to that now, okay? And uh, But only because I really, I'm still gonna show every type of business, but I really wanna design them better, and I'd like to have a little bit more money to do that. And so that's what this uh, strategy is now. Called. I realize that the point of the game is to make as much money as possible. I get that. But, you know, I'm trying something, I, I don't know. I just had a different approach to how I wanted to present the game, that's all, and how I wanted to play the game. Isabel Cooper. We've taken and gotten rid of her purchasing agreement. That's what I just did here. In Char Inc., we're gonna get rid of her purchasing agreement and um, she has no contract now. We're now inside a wholesaler called United Ocean Import. And it's a, it's a different importer. If you take a look at the map, this is where it is over here. Okay, so we were with these two, okay? And if you go to the other side of the marina, you get to these two and it's this one that is the most lucrative one to get with united ocean import now we're going to go ahead and take a new partnership and assign isabel to this one your purchasing agent can only have one deal at a time so she can only have a partnership agreement with one wholesaler at a time or rather one importer at a time now the interesting thing about this importer though is that they have a variety of goods available to them um, that are expensive. They have the high-end stuff, okay? So we have expensive gifts that we can bring in now, not just cheap gifts. And so I don't have to go and get them from that wholesaler anymore. Uh, we have things like bottles of wine, which I want to get into uh, my uh, my new pizza shop as like, alcohol, it doesn't a wet bar, etc. cetera, right? Um, and then we also have expensive flowers as well as cheap flowers. So we can do the gifts and flowers inside the gift shops and things like that too. So there's potential, there's a lot of potential here. So what I'd like to do is I wanna go into repeat every day and for the cheap gifts, I'm just gonna make sure we keep 1200 in stock in our warehouse, okay? We currently have uh, 1684. So with that, I shouldn't actually have any total. You can see the total is zero. So we won't have to order any, uh, but then we're also gonna make sure that we get expensive gifts in there. We actually don't have any expensive gifts in the warehouse. So I'm gonna make sure that we have at least, let's say 400 expensive gifts in there just to start things off, just so that I can get them delivered everywhere. And we're gonna go ahead and say go. So every day it's gonna check to see if we have 400 expensive gifts in there, anyway we go. Now, I do wanna to note something here. The difference in price between cheap gifts and expensive gifts is pretty significant. You, you'll notice there's this is just under $4 a piece and this is just over $6 a piece. So there is almost a 50% surcharge on the expensive gifts than there is the cheap gifts. When we go to sell them, in the grift, for example, and we take a look at our pricing, you can see that that is more than double. So even though we're paying a 50% more for the expensive gifts, we're able to sell them at over double, almost 150%. In fact, I am actually pricing them higher here uh, so, than, than this. So this is over, 
in other words we're able to get higher margins on expensive gifts that's why we're doing it that way okay um but it's even better than it was by buying it from the other wholesaler which had them you know not nearly as uh as inexpensive so we're getting them cheaper than we were before and as a result when i stock my shelves i should be able to make higher profits because my expenses on my inputs are now lower in that regard that's pretty basic stuff it's kind of things you already know of course the last step of this right is to make sure that we're actually providing this stuff too so we want to go into the griff's managed delivery plan and we want to make sure that we're keeping our shelves full so we're going to say that we want uh 400 in stock here every single day as well so we'll have these little sort of micro purchases with expensive gifts over overall i really actually don't even need that many we'll just say 200 that way we keep a full shelf every single day for expensive gifts we're not really selling that many so this should be uh sufficient and so it'll get them it'll tap into them from the warehouse stock as well so once those come in from the shipment everything is golden all right so we got fourteen thousand dollars now is that enough to do the things i want to do mm, no it's not first thing i want to do is go into anderson recruitment corp and um we're not going to hire any of these 40 plus wages we're not going to do that but we're going to call and i'm going to have anderson go in and find me more people to work at grill me slowly customer service okay and uh we're gonna say i want like six candidates over the next three days and maybe two days let's speed this up a little bit six candidates over the next two days so we can get at least i want to say three full time but uh we're gonna need more than that uh people now i'm searching for it grill me slowly not because i'm gonna actually staff more people at grill me slowly uh I'm actually going to pull the really good customer service people out of Grill Me Slowly um, and replace them with the new people. The best customer service agents at Grill Me Slowly are now going to get uh, brought in to a new business, one that is significantly more profitable and significantly more important to the future, if you will. So right now i'm driving to a new place and uh the new place i'm only driving there so that i can call them later i don't plan to actually get anything from them just yet but for those of you out there who have been like do this do this do this well you can see i'm doing it now <laughs> um and again i know about these things but I'm, I'm trying to like kind of go through it in a process okay i'm trying to like i don't know i want to experience the whole game and not just skip to the end if you will right so we have uh, Van Tander here. And uh, Van Tander is a new bank. It's a different bank. And if you talk to these guys, they'll loan you a lot more money, okay? Uh, these guys are located just down the road from the giant building with the sort of elevated roundabout or elevated roads. So you see the, the big bridge sort of here on 2nd Avenue, and it goes into this big building with this road that's sort of elevated it's just down the road from that uh an easier way to get here if you don't want to take your car it's pretty easy it's, it's by the park also just take the subway any subway and um come up right here right and then just head east and you'll end up well is that east actually can't tell there's no compass on this even notice that there's no compass on the map so i can't tell what's east i can't say go down the road to the west i i don't actually know what it is you know does anyone know like uh if we if we look at uh broadway it looks like it's you know this angled thing if you look at second avenue and third avenue i could totally do this after i'm done recording but whatever i'll let commenters do it uh second avenue third avenue right fourth avenue uh, do those roads run north and south or east and west It'd be an interesting question that way i can try to orient myself and figure out uh exactly which uh which way is which on this map anyway it's this building located here okay and uh, now that once you visit them, you can then call them if you want to. So I can borrow a lot more money. That's going to be important because we're going to open up a new business in the best possible location. The best possible business in the best possible location. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I'm going to over invest in it because I want to have sort of a super. I'm going to make a super gift shop. OK, that's that's where I'm on on this. OK, it's a super gift shop. What does that mean? What does it mean to have a super gift shop? Well, you'll find out at the end of this video. <laughs> uh, let me let some time run, get some stuff. I'm going to go buy some equipment, and I'll be right back. All right, it's the middle of day 111, and I just had a delivery of some furniture and stuff that's going to make this uh, pizza place a lot better. Now, I'm going to install this stuff. 
We got music at the door now. We're gonna install this stuff, but I'm gonna do so a little bit later. It's not really part of the scope of like the focus of this particular video. And so I kind of want to keep this one on topic as much as I can here. So we're just gonna kind of drop off the hand carts and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just get the stuff off the street. But we got planter boxes and various different counters and stuff so that we can sort of complete this. Uh, in fact, I think just so it doesn't annoy me anymore, cabinet corner have this be installed right here so it wraps around the outside there uh we'll do another one on this side too so that that ends up being a corner piece but it's not super critical to do that right now uh in any case we'll just take the rest of the stuff that's in that delivery we're gonna set it over here for now and we'll just let the employees do what they do we got some calls from anderson recruitment corporation so we're gonna want to go ahead and do those too and uh with 35 percent damage on this car it is in bad shape doesn't matter because once we start making as much money as we are about to we're gonna be able to drive another car uh pretty quickly right probably be able to drive one of those porsches that i apparently hate so much <laughs> somebody said somebody said i must hate porsches because every time i run into a car it happens to be that i didn't notice i was hurting those any uh you know with any different proportion than the other makes and models i didn't know um, so 34%. This is pretty good. They want to be part-time, though, unfortunately. I need a full-time employee. This one will have to do one. Uh, no cleaning shifts on this one. Eh, okay, I think for now, we'll deal with uh, a, a full-time and a part-time for now. We'll just deal with that. Um, and I, they're going to keep making bringing me people, too. Okay, what I need now is a loan. We're going to go and do something kind of crazy right now. It's day 111. We have $5,600. We're going to call a Van Tander. And again, like I said, this is sort of like skipping to the end as far as I'm concerned. But maybe that's the point of the game. I don't know. I wanted to set up different businesses. It's literally like a first world problem here. Van Tander will loan you up to, uh, up to $800,000. Now, I don't intend to borrow $800,000 right away. I only intend to borrow what is necessary. So what is necessary, I believe, is gonna be $400,000. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Before I do that though, I'd like to go into my purchasing agent, go to Isabel Cooper and figure out exactly what is it going to cost me to bring in the products that I wanna bring in. So the first thing to do is I'm gonna select the expensive flowers and cheap flowers, get those on warehouse one. The cheap jewelry and expensive jewelry that's all going to be like everything needs to be on warehouse one right um we could probably set bottles of wine eventually too we're not going to do cigars um in fact i probably won't sell cigars the entire time we play this just because i don't want to and whatever you guys like to smoke cool i'm not going to um so we got all this stuff here and i think what i'm going to do is i need to cancel this order and i need to go in and set and i, I think up for expensive jewelry we'll start with 500 units that's a lot of money. So 426,000. Uh, and then uh, probably not that much. Let's start with 200. Uh, and then for cheap jewelry, we'll start with 500 there as well. Uh, and then for the cheap flowers, we'll start with, let's say 600 or so there. And then expensive flowers, we can start with, let's say 400. Okay. So this ends up being a $223,000 order that we are going to be you know buying to get into stock all the stuff that we want over here okay so two hundred twenty three thousand dollars is a lot of money okay that's a lot of stuff that's coming in so we're gonna have to make sure we have the the, the shelf space to handle it and we're also gonna have to make sure we have enough money to, to cover it so i think i'm gonna borrow 400 grand for now and that should get me going where i need to go so we're gonna order this and we're gonna do it every one day. This is again, a numbered target. So we're not gonna order this many per day. We're simply going to order up to this amount so that we can have this in the warehouse every day, okay? All right, so uh, 223, basically a quarter million dollars worth of merchandise. The bulk of, the, of that order is the expensive jewelry. This is the huge item that costs you massive amounts uh, to order, okay? before we go into our house we actually have a lot of energy left and uh, there's a lot of day left so we're gonna head over to aj's real quick park ourselves right here and um we're gonna order a loan from within aj's but we need to do so before 1400 otherwise we won't have enough time to actually get the money so i think we should probably just do it now 
don't forget we're gonna call these guys we're gonna set up a new loan and you know what i've decided i'm gonna go 450,000 instead just to really make sure my daily interest accumulated here is gonna be 488 dollars and my daily payment is 1875 so total 2363 we're gonna borrow this that's 450 grand but then we're gonna go up into our loans really quick because this is how they've designed the loan system Gonna scroll down and i'm gonna say zero on the daily payment so we're basically gonna only be paying every day 488 dollars we'll never pay this off in that amount of time but don't worry we're gonna be raking in so much dough that we're gonna be able to eventually just click the button so uh it is what it is so that gives me four hundred fifty-five thousand dollars to work with what are we gonna spend it on first we're gonna get an achievement cool then we're gonna buy four of these jewelry cases and we'll go ahead and order that I really hate waiting in line. Thankfully, they were pretty quick, though. Pretty quick about it. Uh, let's go ahead and put that inside the Hansa Mimic. Okay. Now what I want to do, because I needed those jewelry cases. Now what I want to do is I want to talk to the store manager over here. And I'm going to set up a delivery. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to have a business. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to zoom all the way over here. We're going to turn retail offices on. And right over here near the church area this cathedral area we've got this massive building it's ten thousand plus square foot 75 foot traffic possibility and it has a 47 for its traffic index and that is i believe the best traffic index in the whole area uh, i could probably double check that but i think 47 is the best in the whole area right now and yes that's 27 yeah so this is going to have major traffic possibilities here and also huge customer potential which is another thing i'm looking for here so this is my major money making business 75 customer capacity for this one to rent this building it's it's gigantic and it's going to be a super gift shop right it's a super store which is good we're going to need to use it so 11.59 and um to set up the establishment of what this business is, it is a gift shop, but we're going to establish it as a jewelry store. And that way, the jewelry, which is the highest grossing product in our shelves, the jewelry store will end up being the core focus of the shop. And then everything else can sort of come in as it goes. If you take a look at Market Insider, we go to Midtown, which is where this business is, and we sort things by demand, you'll see that cheap jewelry, expensive flowers, expensive jewelry, all of those are at 100% demand with cheap flowers coming in at 99. So it's basically a hundred. We have expensive gifts at 94 and there's hardly, there is nobody selling the top five items on this list. So we have no competition whatsoever, super high margin potential. We can jack prices up. We can have really great customer service and there's no one else in the business and it's a hundred percent demand. Everyone wants this. And this is why, well, this is why we're going to make a killing in this. So um, we're going to set this up as a jewelry shop because we want jewelry to be the primary item. But we can also get gifts. We can sell gift shops. We can sell flowers. All that stuff is in high demand as well. So uh, this is going to be basically just a huge uh, jewelry store, essentially. Start the business, and we're going to go into jewelry store. Select it. And um, I'm welcoming your, your input on what we could have uh, for this the name of this business to be. For now, we're going to call it Super Gifts. And if you have a better name, by all means, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I'm also going to start uh, changing business names to what you've recommended in the comments on previous videos starting next video, uh, as well as um, I actually have, at the, at the, as of recording this one, I actually have received uh, some art submissions. So uh, I'm, I'll be looking to incorporate some of those if they work uh, as we go. Uh, super Gifts. Okay, so done. This is Super Gifts. Huge business. And we're going to be able to do so much with this. So this is where we want to be. Let's go back. To our store manager here and we're going to select the address as super gifts and the delivery time we can make this as soon as possible well not really as soon as possible but sunday to tomorrow is, is fine you know tomorrow at 10 whatever it's fine uh let's add an item and what we want for this let's say we want um well i already got a lot of those counters but i could probably use other things for those so let's say one two three i believe that will get me to the full number i don't think i need four i don't remember if these ones 
I, the cash registers are 20, but I thought these ones were higher. I don't know that though, uh, because they're much more expensive, but check out counters three. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, and then we'll also want to get, uh, some pallet shelves, but I'll just pick those up and bring them over, uh, to the warehouse. Cause we're going to need those too. So we'll have, uh, let's say two pallet shelves delivered. We're going to need one, two, three, four. Let's go five storage shelves delivered. We're going to, we already picked up the jewelry cases ourselves. We'll bring those over ourselves and we're going to, I think probably need to get um some shop barriers could be interesting to get uh we don't want to flood the entire thing with that cheap stuff though so actually let's not do that yet um uh, we could maybe get a product panel it might be helpful for just the display of how things are going to work i already know kind of roughly how i want to lay the store out so there is that too but uh shopping baskets we probably need at least two of those maybe even three I'm surprised not to see the rounded shelves in here. I was looking for the rounded shelves. I must have to go to a different place for that. So we will we'll end up going to a different place for that, I guess. Uh, the jewelry is all going to fit in here. I, I may need three display cases on this. We'll, we'll come back to that and see. But we definitely need the, the pallet shelves and stuff for the warehouse. So we'll go ahead and do that. And... I think that's it for the delivery. I would like to maximize the potential on this delivery, though, if possible. So how about we just do it anyway we'll get um let's say one more thing of shopping baskets one more product panel uh we'll grab uh sh three shop barriers while we have the capacity for this this is a twenty-two thousand dollar order we'll have that delivered for us okay bye bye good all right and then i'm gonna grab one more product shelf here and since the line is really long i don't want to wait in line i'm just going to exit the store and enter really quick grab the pallet shelf and then run to the checkout counter from there because they don't have to wait in line. Remember, everything that's happening inside, it doesn't matter. It's not actually happening. Okay. All right. So we're going to have all the deliveries we need here. And we're going to run right over to the warehouse really quick and put this pallet shelf uh, in, in, the, in the warehouse. Because I, I doubt we're going to have enough capacity to store everything in the shelves. I, I, I suspect we're going to need at least one, sh one more shelf. So I'm just going to really park this car uh, right here real quick. And we're going to go over, grab the pallet shelf, and head into uh, our warehouse. Also, I just went ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff from Ica as well. So we'll have that stuff delivered to us as, as well. So we have the money to do so. Uh, and then the final thing I want to do is I want to go over to that appliance store and get the rounded shelves. Because we don't have enough of those either. And I have uh, room in my car for... Uh, this is the wrong one. I know the city. <laughs> uh, I thought I did, but apparently I, I went one one too far. I was t paying too much attention to something else. Uh, we'll come back around. No, no, I, I totally got the right one. I'm just not, I'm one block over. I, I just need to go a little bit further. I got the right one, all right? And I'm actually going to be early. I thought I was going to have to race to get there, but I have an hour in game to, to get there. Uh, we're going to get a delivery from these guys, too, uh, so that we can get those rounded shelves delivered to our store as well. The faster we open this, the faster we pay off that loan and become, like, uber mega profitable. So we're going to go into the store manager right here, too. And here we go. We're going to say we wanted to go to uh, Super Gifts. I'm going to have you deliver this one on Monday because we have multiple deliveries happening all the time anyway. We're going to have a lot of pallet shelves. We want one, two, three. We want six here. We want cheap gifts and expensive gifts. Um, we're going to need three shelves here, I think, at least. Possibly more. It's, it's, I don't know if we'll need it or not, but it's possible we'll need more. Uh, we also want to have at least four drinks fridges. They're 20 a piece, right? So we need four of them. And... Um, we don't need the cash registers, but we will need a cleaning station. And the big building might need even two cleaning stations, but I, I think we'll probably just be good with one for now. We'll see. Um, I already have shopping baskets ordered. So this is 11 out of 18 items. I guess the rest of the items, we'll just go ahead and get additional storage shelves. And that's probably all I need. So even though it's 14 out of 18... I'm not gonna bother ordering any extra. So we'll go ahead and do the delivery and get that going too. So we don't need anything else uh, from here. We can leave, it's closed now, it's fine. So all of the stuff that we need to get this business up and running is kind of with us already. Most likely we'll have negative cash flow today because we have that, um, hold on, let me make sure all of these are just, yeah, all of these are for super gifts, so no big deal. Most likely we'll have, negative cash flow today you know it'll be a red number 
which might reduce our happiness. But that's only because we're going to have a lot of stuff ordered and um, we're going to be spending money on that loan as well. So the, it, tomorrow for sure is going to end up being... Um, yeah, tomorrow for sure is absolutely going to be uh, a red number. Uh, so where did my business go? <laughs> Wait a minute. It was... I. I know it was down here. Uh, oh, there it is. Yep, it's the red icon. So take a right here and go down 6th Street. That's where it is. All right, here we go. Over here, and our jewelry store will now be right over... Over... One more block, one more block down. I've never actually been down this way. Uh, like, it, physically, like, to, to look at the building I was renting. I just knew about the building. Okay, so that's the super gifts. Yep, now look how big this place is, right? It's not, obviously, stuff isn't delivered yet, but you just gotta look at how big this place is. It's it's huge. There's so much room here, okay? And you see how the shadows kind of come through with the light and everything? I'm gonna set this up with these shadows kind of being walkways. These are natural walkways. So products will be in sort of like the lit areas where all the lighting is, and then we'll have walkways going through there. And then of course we have the big stock room, which will eventually be filled with shelves and stuff and products and whatever. So we have basically just a ton of room to work with here. And um, remember, there's a 75 customer capacity on this building limit uh, and 75 customers per hour with the amount of product we're gonna be moving is gonna be crazy profitable. So me, a huge business, dude, just enormous. Uh, I will be right back. The delivery, remember, is coming tomorrow. So we're gonna be spending, like this isn't, like this is gonna be gone. We're gonna have basically no money left once this happens. So we're really gonna have to, I mean, I can always borrow more, but because I did leave myself a lot of leeway to borrow more, but we're gonna have to open super gifts as fast as we can. And that's why Anderson Recruitment has been looking for people so that I can replace them in Grow Me Slowly and get at least three, minimum of three, really uh, like 100% customer service people to go to work as soon as possible with this. So I think I'll go ahead and hire, I don't want, you know, no cleaning shifts. This one is too needy. Uh, 43 an hour is a lot, especially when they, you know, only want four days a week. So uh, I need, I need more people on that. So I, I think we have enough people. I can always shift the schedules around a little bit with HR too. So like pull an extra person off and just have HR try to fill in the gaps as best as it can. All right, it's 8.30 in the morning. Just waking up, full night's rest, assume some food, and let's get in our car and rush over to where we need to be, which is the jewelry store. Now we need to get there and get things started and get things set up. Uh, as quickly as possible because we've got multiple deliveries happening today and uh, there's one delivery happening at 10 o'clock and the other delivery is going to happen at two o'clock and if we don't have everything in the building from the 10 o'clock delivery already out of the way for the two o'clock delivery then the two o'clock delivery doesn't happen so we need to go ahead and do that now i know i'm close but i need to figure out where am I? Okay, so it's just to uh, take a left down to 3rd Avenue then, all right. I'm a little bit, uh, like, I know where things are, but I don't at the same time. Not yet. Not for this one. This is a little different on location for me. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead really quick and just kind of park our car here. Is it legal? It says legal. Question it. Uh, it says legal, so it's legal. All right, so um, do I have a hand truck in here? I do not. So jewelry floor case. Just real quick, we're going to go in here. I want to make sure that the jewelry case... Uh, I'll just place it here for now, I guess. Uh, does the jewelry case... Let's go expensive jewelry. Does that provide... A 15. I'm going to need more of them than I thought. Okay. Uh, next thing to do, actually, is... To find the hand truck we're gonna need that it's almost 10 o'clock so the delivery is coming let's go ahead and move the hand truck over to here so we can access it very quickly all right and then uh there's our delivery that's twenty-two thousand out of our bank account let's go outside and get it and it's on this pallet here now we have to empty this pallet before two o'clock what did i just do why did you drop it just pick it up there you go Green inside. Good. 
and uh we have to deliver this by then so storage shelves we're gonna place those all the way back here and we'll get that set up i guess like that uh, and then we'll do the same thing with this one like so and you know so lots and lots of product can be stored in this back shelf area here place right like this there we go grab the hand truck again and get out and get the next bit so there's a lot of stuff here shop barriers everything must go so we don't have to really worry about it i'm just going to bring it in out of the hand truck so it's out of the way so just grab this pallet shelves bring it inside drop it off grab another hand cart hand truck whatever you call it there you go and okay we're good bring it one more time inside park that one grab the last hand truck and as long as this pallet is out of the way there it is it's gone now the two o'clock delivery can happen okay so shopping baskets uh we'll place those right there i guess uh we have two separate doors people are going to be coming in two different doors so we'll have to keep an eye on that product panels i guess it doesn't really matter where they are we'll put them over here i guess um this product panel we're gonna have a lot of these things anyway so there uh we have some stuff on this one storage another storage shelf let's bring that all the way back and put that right here okay and then we have some shop barriers for now i'll just place them here but we're going to eventually make lines for our checkout counters and that's kind of what these barriers are going to be for is sort of the lines you saw these in the grocery store actually when i was going to get food there's like barriers between these things um this is a pallet shelf and the pallet shelf actually needs to be uh popped in the car so i need to bring these pallet shelves over to the hansa real quick and then in exchange inside the hansa i've got three additional jewelry cases and these four are enough to give me 60 capacity for one type of jewelry so in other words i'm gonna need five for each type of jewelry that means 10 total a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry uh cases eventually we don't need them right away we can obviously understock for a little while just to make sure we're selling them and making profits um but for the time being and we're only gonna to be fair we're only gonna exclusively sell the expensive jewelry to start because it's in high demand right so we're gonna sell a lot of expensive jewelry um but eventually we're gonna want to introduce cheap jewelry into this too so capacity wise with this we have by four so 60 uh, out of 75 we could serve 60 out of the possible 75 with what we've already bought and that's good cheap gifts so the product panels ah the product panels are good for cheap gifts we don't need the uh rounded shelves interesting okay interesting i don't remember if i ordered a bunch of rounded shelves or not i'm pretty sure i did um here's a checkout counter and we'll place this uh probably line it up uh, about let's say here and then there should be another one over here uh check out counter yep like that and then i'm really hoping that i think these ones are 30 each might be 25 but i thought they were 30 each so they're they're more capacity than this the little checkout counters that you put on the on the countertops and stuff uh, let's take and grab some baskets right there and then this extra sh stack of baskets can go uh over here actually yeah right here so these are all kind of lined up yeah so that's it we got everything we need in here now let's go ahead and grab char ink we're gonna want to get make this uh manage so logistics manager up to seven locations we can go ahead and scroll over and grab the uh super gifts there we go and all of the available products are right here let's make sure we have a stock uh we'll start with 300 there if for expensive jewelry we'll make sure we have 100 capacity for now and uh paper bags let's make sure we have like i don't know 2000 it's fine uh we have three checkout counters so i don't know let's do uh, let's just do 3000 whatever uh and then cheap gifts uh oh sorry this is cheap jewelry um so let's make 200 there and then cheap gifts we'll have like 300 in that okay so that's our delivery plan for logistics shouldn't be a problem and but what's going to happen here right just as a keep an eye on your money sort of thing right what's going to happen here is we are going to to do an order with purchasing agents okay to get us to have 400 as the target for expensive gifts in our warehouse okay 
because that's what we currently have is 400. So what I'm going to do here with the logistics manager is they are going to be bringing in uh, 100 of them. Apparently it's warehouse stock is 200. I thought it was 400. I just looked at it. Oh, well, anyway, show, show warehouse uh, inventory. What does it say? Expensive jewelry is 200 in stock. Okay, so I'm apparently ordering a lot more tomorrow. Uh, in any case, we're going to be ordering more, right? So this is looks like 140,000 left, but it's still not enough. So I'm probably still going to have to, uh, you know, take additional loans to make this be really up in capacity. But it, it is it's fine the way it is for now. Okay, so let's get in our really beat up car here. Oh, hang on. That's our delivery. We can come back for that one, though. That's the last delivery of the day. I have another delivery coming Monday. That's tomorrow at 10 a.m. That's the reason why you don't have everything delivered on the same time, because there's only enough space in front of your business for one delivery. And if you don't move it, then you can't take any additional deliveries. Little, little high velocity pit maneuver there. Sorry, right, ambulance. It's not your day. <laughs> at 29% on this car. I'm gonna let this car die. Uh, and then hopefully, when, by the time it dies, we'll be making enough money to just buy a nicer vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need the Hansa Mimic anymore. Uh, how do we get for employees? Do we uh, do we do okay here? This is great, actually. Hire you, and um, yeah, yeah. Part I want full time people, right? Like I, I really like more full time people right now. I could do two part timers, I guess, but their wages are not cheap. You know, they're pretty high wages anyway, and I'm not really in a hurry. For that so never mind i've decided my car is really beat up and i don't want to drive it anymore <laughs> uh so i figured i would show mass transportation since i haven't done that yet in this playlist and if you guys are new to the game you might be wondering well do you have to drive everywhere no uh in fact i can hail this cab right here and have him drive me over there if i want to but i can also use these subway stations you go into here and you just choose any subway station you get transported there so in this case uh there is a subway station right here which is just down the street from my business um there's actually several there but i'm just gonna go to this one and so you click it and then it just whisks you off it costs you a few dollars no big deal and it actually is if you're near a station it actually is faster than driving which is kind of cool all right so uh um you know you can see i'm close enough now so now we just basically run down the street and get to our business. And then I can, of course, take the subway back to get to my house if I'd like to as well. So we'll see that the big box of pallets, sorry, big pallet of boxes is right out front here. And this has got my other delivery, including four loudspeakers, 12 planter boxes, as well as two plants in these tall vases. So these are just like decorative things. Um, they're not really aid in the in, in actual business at all. But again, they're just decorative. So I'm going to go ahead and get those unloaded, get them into the shop. And, uh, and then I'm going to go home, pass some time here, and then come back for the next delivery. I'll be right back. All right. I stayed up all night. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> um, we've got... Our, our, our little flower boxes or our planter boxes and stuff are at the uh, at the door. We're going to replicate this design uh, over here, minus the hand truck. That's just there so I can access it easy while we're unloading things. Uh, we've got shopping baskets here. I'm actually going to go get one more, even though I don't need it for the numbers, just so I can have the shopping baskets be right after the plants. So two more of the tall plants here will go uh, by the door on that side. we got our checkout counters uh, right here lined up, and um, we'll probably go in and get some separators here as well, although I'm not entirely sure again where exactly they'll go, but I feel like, you know, maybe just in front of the lines, kind of like this would probably be where they would go, I suppose. Um, just to separate the lines and I might go ahead and actually get uh, a few more the jewelry is going to be kind of near the back of the store and I don't exactly have the layout yet I may end up doing six cases we'll see but I want to kind of get it all laid in a big circle so um, it looks to me based on needing five of them to really be the most effective in this particular arrangement uh, exactly five for each type that means 10 so we'll have 10 jewelry cases that are kind of in a circle right here in the middle of the store and then we'll surround it with other stuff that people can give for gifts like cheap gifts expensive gifts and as well as clothing and all the other types of things that people would want to do for gifts again this is a big gift shop okay but it's classified as a jewelry shop so that jewelry will be the primary focus because that is the uh primary uh money maker okay 
So that's how we're doing this. Uh, planter box, we got another one over here, and I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna end up placing these. So for now, we'll uh, put that one there, and we'll end up putting this one, let's say, up here and line it up with the grid. So we can place it like that, okay? So there we go. That's the stuff we've bought so far. Again, there's another delivery of stuff coming uh, at 10 o'clock, at 10 a.m., but that is the last delivery I'm gonna have. So I don't. I no longer am in a hurry to necessarily unload it. We made over $8,200 of profit yesterday. So that's pretty good. I would like to see more product being ordered. So I am gonna look at our orders and stuff from you know our purchase agents and things like that. All right, our delivery is done. Woken up here. Uh, I don't quite have full energy for the day. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. And so what I thought I would do is actually visit one of my competitors here. We got a fast food. This is the green salad. We can walk in and just kind of see what their shop looks like. You know, they've got burgers. They've got hot dogs. Okay, got a um, little bit of salad stuff over there. Four soda machines for the building of this size. That's kind of wasteful. Uh, one French fry fryer. I'm pretty sure that's uh, not up to specs so they shouldn't be doing very well over here probably need to make some modifications but if i wanted to uh, order something myself i could queue up and uh, and get it so i think i will let's leave the store real quick so we don't have to wait in a queue because that's don't you wish you could do that just walk out and then you don't have to wait in the queue anymore um i'm gonna order one soda for three bucks okay person somehow cut me how did that happen how in the world sir teach me your ways oh man this is you really do have to wait in the queue. <laughs> Not a good shopping experience, but he actually does go get the exact soda can. Like, he get, wins and gets the soda can is what I wanted. Okay, cool. So now I've got a soda. And just, you know, trying out the competitors or whatever. Spend a little bit of cash in the neighborhood and consume. Do stuff to consume this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I can I consume it later when I've got the, the energy for it. That's fine. Or when I've got the space in my stomach for it. Just a little bit of caffeine is all it is, right? Okay. Try not to wreck our car on the way over there. All right, go inside, grab the hand truck. Okay, let's come on outside and start grabbing stuff. So this one is six rounded shelves. We're gonna put our expensive gifts on there, right? Um, we have four drinks fridges, a cleaning station, and three more storage shelves. Maybe went a little overboard on the storage shelves, to be honest. Like I may just put those in the car and save them for the next business. Um, I don't think I need quite that much storage, but we'll see, we, we might use it. Um, let's grab all the drinks fridges here real quick, just to see what kind of capacity those will give us. Actually, those are 20 a piece, right? Yeah, those are 20 capacity a piece. So I'm pretty sure we already know what those are. Uh, as far as the drinks fridge goes, I think I can place them over here. I don't need to have them in the middle of the store where everything else is. So people can buy them at the checkout counter and then, you know, I'm thinking of having something like a bench or something right there between the two bathrooms. That's what I'm kind of thinking here. So four drinks fridges, there we go. No biggie. All right, we just had a big order uh, at the end of the day there to get everything back in stock. And you can see we had a deficit yesterday. So we are operating in the red uh, with that last order, but Okay, like I said, there's like 140 or so thousand dollars in the bank, but okay, now if we take a look at our warehouse and stuff, we should see that we are fully stocked up on everything that we wanted to be stocked up on. So we've got 200 expensive jewelry in stock here, 500 in stock here, uh, expensive gifts are at 351 in stock, and like we, we basically have all of our money tied up in inventory, right? Which is kind of what happens with businesses, right? If you start ordering a lot, you might order too much, etc. cetera. So um, we have warehouse stock 200, we're trying to keep 100 in stock in here. The store itself, I believe, will have enough to cover it. Um, going into inventory here, we have um, 100 in stock here, okay? Now the market price for this is $1,270, which means we're gonna get $1,270 right now for every single piece of expensive jewelry we sell. Or we could try getting 1350 for it, you know? Or we could try, since there's nobody else competing with, we could try to get 1500 for it. Who knows? There's no competition, so it's possible. Uh, we'll go 3.2 on this. Cheap jewelry, let's go up to 180. Uh, actually, I'd like to move volume here pretty quick. Let's drop this down to 1400 for now. Uh, for the cheap gifts, we'll go 24. And we actually don't have any paper bags. Oh, look, there's 3,000 in stock here. So in any, in any case, all that money we lost is because of inventory, right? So last thing to do here, all right? 
It's going to get a little extra rest. Last thing to do here, um, in addition to working on my happiness, which probably isn't going to go up no matter what I do at this point, uh, because I'm operating at a deficit. We have a couple of alerts here we have to look at. Uh, so we're running out of paper bags here. I have to get those manually since I dropped the contract with the only supplier that does paper bags. Um, so I'll need to go get those manually, but I don't think that's a huge deal. And Super Gifts showcases out of expensive jewelry. And you know what? It's okay, because some of them have expensive jewelry in there already. We can sell some. So let me just take a quick look at this. Grooming me slowly. We've hired additional employees, right? And so we need to get them on the schedule. I've had the autofill button take care of most of it, but I did have to tweak it afterwards because it's um, way off. It didn't schedule any cleaning jobs. Um, oh, that's not true. It did give Paige 10 hours because she requested part-time, uh, but it gave it to her on Monday and Tuesday and then no cleaning the rest of the week. So uh, I instead went in and cut, like spread her out to where she has enough hours to keep her happy, coming in twice a day, sometimes once a day, et cetera. Um, we have all these different employees and I've moved three of these employees over to being part of the Super Gifts team. And so that has also now been auto-filled. Um, Sunday, we have nobody on, but that's okay. We're gonna have some money and we'll be able to get people in there by Sunday too. So we're gonna hire more people as well and shift them in from other businesses where everyone who works at the store, the Superstore, everyone who works here will have the best customer service. So if we hire anybody, it's gonna be for the other businesses. We'll hire them for the other businesses and then anyone who's really good, you guys get promoted to the Super Gifts store, okay? There you go. That's how we're gonna make this work. Uh, okay, so I think we're pretty much set up. Today is Tuesday after all, and we are gonna be open at 10. We'll have somebody here at nine, but we should be able to sell a pretty good amount of stuff by 10 o'clock. So uh, real quick, let's hop in the Hansa Mimic, and um, we're just gonna go real quick and head back to the store and see uh, how we're doing. Again, we have $20,000 in the bank. That is not a lot of money. Before we took a massive loan, I would have said, yeah, that's great. Uh, but now that we're seeing red numbers, of course, not so great. Real quick, let me just take a look at this too. Uh, we're seeing that Pizza Chucks is gonna run out of bags. I probably should do that first. I don't necessarily need to be here, right? I don't need to be in Super Gifts um, for this. Uh, we can have two cases not have the expensive jewelry. That That's okay for now. Um, and actually, Actually, it's not okay. All right, hold on. We'll get paper bags, but I, I need to go to the store. We're going to take two of those display cases that are trying to sell expensive jewelry. We're going to change it to cheap jewelry because we have that in stock. I'm just choosing not to sell it yet because I wanted maximum capacity for expensive jewelry. But um, if we change it to cheap jewelry, mm, God, that's tough. That's a tough decision, right? Because we already have 60. No, we're actually limited by this. Yeah, yeah, we need to get rid of these product panels. Get rid of these product panels because we don't have enough of them. And then our capacity opens up to 60. And that'll be much better. Um, so that's what we need to do. So I, I absolutely need to get there. It's nine o'clock, so at least the cleaner's doing what it's doing now. Or doing what they're doing now. And then, uh, wow. <laughs> so there was a truck there. Somebody should move it. I do actually, I mean, that it makes it to where you can see yourself through the trees and everything, right? And I, I feel like it should do that under the bridges and stuff too. Probably didn't even need to go that direction. I've already overshot my target, so. <laughs> I, need, I do need to learn where this uh, this shop is. This one is uh, not one I've gotten used to traveling to yet. So as soon as I get used to it, then I won't need the map, but I, I will pin it for now, because I can. And uh, we're at 17% on our poor car. But this is the... This is the thing, man. Like, we need positive bank balance or I'm going to have to take another loan just to keep afloat for a little bit. I shouldn't need to worry about it, though. With Super Gifts being operational, though, I should not need to worry about that. Okay, this business is open. What we need to do, though, is take cheap gifts, undefine that, and then we need to also come over here real quick. Um, we have... These are, und these are defined, too. So we can have expensive gifts here, for example. Uh, we can do cheap gifts here. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's do cheap gifts here, here, and here, right? And then we can do more cheap gifts here. And actually, that would boost us up. So um, I wanted to have uh, cheap gifts be near the checkout counters, right? Which is what we've got going on right here. And if I can have that many cheap gifts, we can do expensive gifts here. But I can also just simply sit it and undefine it. Um, 
But if I do that, now the cheap gifts end up equaling higher. So that's up to 65 now. So now our weakest link is the jewelry, uh, the expansive jewelry. And I don't know if I'm going to really get enough. Anyway, we do have some expensive jewelry in the counter and you can see we've already sold one. It's 49 out of 50. So we've already sold one. That's good. Um, since we don't have any more here though, maybe it's okay to make this cheap jewelry. The problem with that, of course, is it's going to drop our customer count to now maximum of 30, which again, for jewelry, isn't that big of a deal, right? But you know, it's a, it's a toss up, man. Like, is it, is it worth it? Is it not? Yeah. I'm gonna do it, but I just I just don't know. Um, let's do expensive gifts here, expensive gifts here, and uh, we'll do another expensive gift right over here, and then we'll see what that capacity is. And so now we're at 30 on that as well. So we're not quite operating at peak, but we can at least sell the stuff we have. We need to sell the stuff we have. So uh, that's what we're gonna end up doing here. So um, let's go ahead and really quick just leave and um i would hope to see our warehouse delivering this stuff but it may not have delivered enough i said keep 200 in stock so that's why it didn't deliver enough we're gonna bump this up to 800 in stock and then for uh and then for the cheap gifts oh that's cheap jewelry don't do that um we'll say 300 i uh, will say 200 here for jewelry uh and then no we need one two three four no we need we need 300 in stock here and then uh for the cheap gifts we can go um, 800 in stock here and expensive gifts. We can do 800 in stock here. Now, obviously they haven't delivered that stuff yet. I don't exactly know when the deliveries happen. Um, I don't know if it's multiple times a day or what, but uh, hopefully because there's only three employees there, I, I imagine three employees is not enough, especially with a 30 customer capacity. Uh, but with a 20 grand, I might be able to go and get some Right, um, and then also you see most of this is just gift related. So jewelry is fine, we have it in stock. And then I also need to go get paper bags, but I would hope anyway, by the end of the day, that store is profitable because jewelry is so uh, is so profitable if you can sell it. Um, it's it's really great. You, um, you buy them for, what was it? 771 a, a piece, I think is what it was from the importer. And we're selling them for gonna be almost 1400. So yes, it's the same kind of margin where you're making 100%, which in retail isn't the best really. But if you think of it this way, we're also profiting $700 for each sale. And that's more than any other product we have. So every product on the, on the shelf that sells is selling for a higher profit, like dollar for dollar, more than anything else on the shelf. So those sales is exactly what we need to keep ourselves afloat just a little bit longer uh, to make this work. And so I'm in my Hansa Mimic really quick here. I normally wouldn't need to do this anymore, but I, like I said, I, uh, I canceled my agreement with the importer for bags specifically. Oh, and this is full. Are you kidding me? What's in there? Uh, oh, right, the extra the extra shelves I was gonna deliver to another store. Uh, okay, tell you what, why don't we get the hand truck out and we'll just put one more bag in, we'll leave the hand truck behind and then we'll go. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys part to the, the zoom you guys ahead to the part that you really wanna see, which is, is the store gonna work? Is it gonna be successful? That's the big question, isn't it? So let's answer it. Okay, waking up. Yesterday's profit, $20,000. 20 and a half thousand dollars to be precise. Uh, and then once the warehouse delivered all the goods they needed to deliver, um, we were good to go. So now we're at $67,000. We'll go ahead and consume the food. And um, now it's just a matter of picking up the pieces here as we are now profitable, like I said, by $20,500. That was just yesterday alone. Um, and we're not even at full capacity yet, guys. This store has a lot more it can do. In fact, um, take a look at the customers yesterday. It really spiked up once I left and got up to as high as, I can't read that, I'm gonna go with 16 on that. And 16, of course, is not even close to 30, let alone 75. And of course, it wasn't even all day. So very, very good. Pricing is fantastic. Customer service is off the charts. The interior is even labeled as 90, and that's because I've got so many of those plants in there. So I don't have to adjust the, the floors and the walls and all that stuff. So, so far, very, very good. Um, we also had just implemented marketing near the end of the day. And I think that that is probably why uh, the insights look like this, where it kind of spiked up. 
but um, actually, I, I really don't remember when I implemented that marketing. So that might have even been after close. So we might even see better traffic today because of the marketing. Marketing is not doing that well. Be proved by running marketing campaigns. Um, so we need a better marketing campaign for this. And there is a, another place called City Ads where we can institute institute that's the wrong word where we can initiate um execute whatever you want to call it uh even better marketing campaigns to be even more effective and so we are going to tackle that as well as pick up all the little loose ends and tie up all these little things that we haven't done yet in a pretty little bow and we will do that next time thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys have liked this video now we'll start making a ton of cash so that i can properly design all these businesses the way i would like to design them there, there you go. All right. You can always do this. You could just make a ton of money really quick with if you just take out a ton of money uh, as a loan. Uh, but I wanted to kind of get a feel for what it's like to struggle with it a little bit and sort of not rely on loans for everything. I mean, think of it like um, my, my rationale behind this is, you know, from a role play perspective is sort of thinking about credit ratings, right? And in credit worthiness, a giant bank isn't going to loan me half a million dollars when I have no business experience, right? But if I've been managing several successful, profitable businesses, I've got equity I can use, you know, to as against it, right? I can borrow against that equity. Now it makes sense that they would loan me money, right? The game doesn't just do it. Although in my opinion, that other bank should absolutely not loan you any money until you've proven that you can handle it. That's my opinion though, to make the game a little bit more realistic. There's no reason any bank would ever loan you half a million dollars, let alone $800,000. Uh, if you have no real history with business i just don't feel like it should happen honestly it probably shouldn't even open that bank to you unless you've made a grand total of a million dollars in profit or it's year five whichever one comes first that that's my opinion on it but it is what it is anyway okay that's it i've said my piece thanks for watching we'll see ya bye bye